My name is Aaron Lipinski. I'm a researcher working in Dr. Painter's group, working with ionic liquids and tar sands at the Pennsylvania State University. As soon as I got involved with it, I, I saw the promise. I, I knew it was really something special. This is important because um, it allows us to get to these oil reserves without destroying the environment to do it. So what we essentially do is we take a, a part of this tar sand and we put it in a vial and we stir it for a certain amount of time and then we let it settle. And at the end of the time, when it starts settling, you can immediately see that there is separation going on. There's a phase line between the sand and the ionic liquid, and then between the ionic liquid and the bitumen and solvent. And all we have to do is we have to take that solvent off and then wash the sand with a small amount of water, and the sand is completely clean of hydrocarbons. So. It's, it's a much better process than anything else out there right now. We don't have to actually put any energy into the extraction of the bitumen from the tar sands. Um, the only thing we actually have to do is stir it. And we're finding out in some cases we don't even have to stir it at all. It will just come right off. With our oil sands from the BP oil spill, it only takes a couple seconds for the bitumen to detach from the sand. You could extract the bitumen right there, put it on a truck, wash the sand, and then throw it right back out on the beach. And it would be perfect right there. The sand itself is so clean, it's cleaner than even normal beach sand. If you grab beach sand off of any beach in the United States or throughout the world, it's got hydrocarbons on it, just from diesel fuel and everything in the water, from, from stuff just washing onto the beach. Ours, we, we cannot find anything through FTI or spectroscopy is what we're using right now. Um, we can't find any hydrocarbons on our sand. We're able to quickly and completely remove the oil from these minerals.